just a postmaster. What would Christmas season be without a Grinch, right? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for being late. I stood outside, I was gonna wait till I heard an applause before I entered. But then I heard my name, Maurice, counted 19 words to my theme today. And I thought, well, if they're talking about me, I can go in. <laughs> the theme was great, all 19 words, because when I read the theme, I said to myself, is there a camera? Is he looking over my shoulder? Because I just written my speech. And it kind of just went hand in hand with it. So you did shorten it, but the theme is still the theme. And I am blessed to be here today because today being Friday morning, everybody knows me. When I go to Friday morning, I look forward to being at Fox Talks. I really do. This is the time of season for me because I love putting joy into people's hearts every single day, 365 days a year. There's a reason I do that. I do it because I'm selfish. I'm selfish in a way that I feel if I can do this to you, I can get this. If I say this to you, I can get this. And that's pretty selfish. If I give you this, I can get that. But I'm looking for something more in return. So what I found out when I was younger is that if I can put a smile on somebody's face, I'll smile too. So I started thinking, wow, this is pretty cool. If I make somebody laugh, I'm going to laugh. So my selfishness comes in a way that I can make myself happy by making other people happy. Now, why is this important this time of year? Because I've been through the kind of life just like everybody in this room. No different, not the same in all areas, but yet we all look for something around this time of season. We all look for joy. We all look for happiness, whether we know it or not. There are those people that can't find it because of depression. And I, I don't mean the real depression where there's an imbalance, a chemical imbalance in the brain. That's medical. I'm talking about the modern. Ah, bah humbug. Christmas. Hear the four same songs everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at it, I, I do wish you a very Merry Christmas while you're wishing yourself a white open fire, looking for Rudolph's red-nosed reindeer, while you're wishing yourself a white Christmas. <laughs> After all, Jingle Bell rocks, right? <laughs> but you know, I like the kind of selfish I am, because I did learn that, you know, I can make people smile, I can make people laugh. And as I was doing that as a little boy, I realized by the time I was 30, why I was really doing it. I was doing it to hide my pain. The pain that I had as a child. What if you just falling down, skinning my knee? Someone gave me a skateboard one time, a skateboard in Boston. Are you kidding me? I didn't even know what it was. I thought it was like a, a roller skate with the other half missing or something. But the pain we you know, the pain we have with family members, the pain we have with friends that don't talk to us anymore. I live in a household where my oldest brother didn't talk to my father for five years. And I'll guarantee you, at the end of that five years, neither one of them knew why they didn't talk to each other, but they didn't. My sister didn't talk to me one time for 18 months. 18 months, one week, three days, and six hours. Mm -hmm. and I finally asked her, Peggy, what's the problem? She said, I don't know, it's just something you said sometimes. <laughs> Hello? You ought to see the things, you ought to hear the things you said to us growing up. One girl, three older brothers. I mean, she was cool. She'd say things to us like, she's the mother. Okay, that's great. But I never hold a grudge. My two brothers didn't talk one time, Glenn and Bryant, on the way down to my wedding in 2004 because they got lost on the directions and one started driving faster. And I go back to Boston six months after I get married and my brother says, well, we haven't spoken since you were. Why? <laughs> well, you know, I said, it was a freaking wedding. You got lost for 25 miles, big deal. That's the reason not to talk. So now they talk. We forget why we get angry at people, the reason for it. Why do we do this? Why do we keep going on and on, putting this pain into ourselves? I get an argument with somebody, 30 seconds later, it's gone. It keeps coming back up again, but I keep putting it back down again because it's important to me to be happy. It's important to me because I know I'm not going to be here one day. 
I'm going to die. Nobody lives forever. Thank God. <laughs> so when I look around this room, I look at people that I've seen for the past four and a half years. People came through that door saying, well, I'm going to give my first speech. I don't want to do this. Then why did you come to Toastmaster? <laughs> <laughs> And I've seen people walk through this door, they sat down, they get up, and it's like, yeah, I'm a guest, and uh, I'm here to you know, learn how to do, speak in public and not be afraid to do so. And three months later, they're giving their fifth speech. They're not afraid anymore. They have that feeling of not wanting to do it like I did you know, two, three minutes ago. But I know if I get up here, I put a smile on somebody's face. I see a couple right now. I see one. I'm a Gemini. I can do that. <laughs> so I love this time of year. I really do. I do sing more than four songs. I love giving gifts to people, whether it be something you know substantial or something they don't even need. It doesn't matter. Because I did learn in a very happy, selfish way that when I can make people laugh, when I can make people happy, I find happy and I find joy. And the best joy I ever found is my children, watching their birth, you know, watching them grow up, watching them make mistakes. Trying not to answer the phone when they call after they made a mistake. But we do because we're parents. And they bring joy to me. All the heartaches they give you over the years turns into joy because you look back at it and you say, what else do I have but joy in this life? And if you can't find the joy in yourself, Find it in somebody else and borrow it. You know, fake it till you make it. That's that's a say a cliche I picked up somewhere. If you can't find the joy in your life, find it in somebody else's life. I know I have a job ahead of me right now. Dana wants me to get her a job in Vegas as a stand-up comedian. <laughs> Yay. That's easy to do because she's good. But I don't know how to do it. So I can go knock on doors and say, I have a lady, she's pretty funny. She'll put joy in everybody's hearts. She really will. But my, my most joy on a weekly basis that I look forward to is coming here at Fox Talks. Because we do rock here. Look at the people we have here. I remember when there was 18 members. We've got 35, 36, 38 members now. I find joy here, especially this time of year. So I want to wish you all you know, happy holidays. Enjoy yourselves. Find some joy. Give some joy. Steal some joy. Whatever you need to do. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you all for being here today.